Yo. Um, so, week six on testosterone. Um, I didn't do a video last week because, um, as I said the week before, that I was at my friend's house looking after our kids. And to be honest, let me sit under the light a bit more. I didn't have time. Um, and also, they kindly gave me a chest infection. So, it's only sort of today, maybe, that my my voice, I don't sound like I've got a cold. Um, I don't think, anyway. Um, whereas, um, last week I sounded like I had the cold, you could tell. Um, so yeah, I just didn't have time last week. Um, <coughs> as you can still hear, I still have a chest infection a week later. But, um, yeah, so I skipped last week. I can't believe I've only got like two weeks so I get to do my injection again. Which is, it's weird it's gone so quickly. Um, I haven't really noticed any changes apart from t today I feel really frustrated, like, not ang oh, it's angry, I suppose angry. But only a couple of things have made me feel not ang not angry, frustrated, but I've just feel really short tempered today and I just want to punch shit out of everything. But I think that's testosterone more than me. Um yeah, I think so, because it's the it's the week week two after the injection. So six week and I'm greasy and I've got loads of spots coming up on my forehead. So last month from my from my first injection I found that the middle two weeks were the worst. They were when I was hungriest and greasiest, horniest as well. Which is strange because I've been horny for like I don't know, about two years. And um yeah. So yeah, so I don't and I don't remember being I do remember being frustrated last month, but I can't remember details. But yeah, I'm really frustrated there, and I'm like, oh, it's really annoying. And it's just, yeah, it brings your mood down when you... Well, I just, I just, everyone is annoying me, basically. Um, yeah, it's a mood killer, really. I look tired today, what a surprise. And uh, yeah, I was trying to gonna as usual try and get this done earlier on in the day but again it just didn't happen <coughs> I'm more um even though I'm tired in the evening I'm more of an evening person more I get more done in the evening like obviously get daytime stuff done in a day like having me a cut paying the bills and all that lot uh, just you know things you can't really do in the evening um but the, like the evening is where I'm, I suppose, more creative. I don't know, brain's more awake. Whereas you know, during the daytime, you don't really need to have your brain switched on to go and get some electric or food shopping or whatever. So yeah, um, not much has happened really, to be honest, in the last two weeks. Um, change for GP surgery, um, which is good. First time I've ever moved GP surgery in my entire life so big change I've yet to see anyone it was quite good actually because when I on Friday I was meant to be having my flu shot because I have one every year because I'm immunosuppressed and um so I went I just want because the doctors isn't far now it's literally like a five minute walk so I wandered over and set up just I knew I wasn't allowed it if um, I had a chest infection, but I wanted to double check just in case, and um, and see if I can book there, or do I need to book somewhere else to get my jab? Anyway, she she asked me if I'd seen the doctor yet, and I said no. I said I'm new to the surgery, and so she put me on this like tri triage list, which means like um. If you need to see the doctor like that day, then you can be put on the triage list and the doctor will phone you back. 
<coughs> and um, he phoned me back within about me 20, 20 minutes of me being back home, and uh, which was good. And um, you know, asked me what was wrong, and I was like, oh, I think I've got a chest infection. Said new to the surgery, blah blah blah. And he said, yeah, I can hear it just over the phone. He said, oh, I can just send some antibiotics to Azra if you want, or if you want, you can come and see a doctor. And I was like, yeah, just send the antibiotics to Azra. I don't need to come and see you. I know I know exactly what's wrong with me. It's a chest infection, like, blinking always. So um, that was quite good. That was treated over the phone because... What's the point of seeing a doctor if I know, and he can hear it, if I know what's wrong and he knows what's wrong, so just waste the time, innit, really? So that was good, quite impressed with that. And, and the fact that, I was, you know, somebody got back to me that quickly. Um, so, yeah, and I've just, today, I've ordered some medication, so hopefully, because I did ask him on Friday if I had to see a GP before any of my meds... And, you know, I had to reorder any of my meds, and he said no. So hopefully that is true, and uh, my script goes through fine. Um, but, yeah, so far pretty impressed of the new doctors. And bonus it being, like, five, well, not even five-minute walk, three-minute walk. It's literally just across the road. That is my cat's tail. If it's not the dog getting in the way, <laughs> it's a cat. That's, that's Marley. Harley. Probably can't see her. Because she's black. Oh, two dogs. But anyway, yeah, so, so far, pretty impressed. Um, with that new surgery, which is good. Like, you know, changing. Anything changes. Oh. Scary, but, yeah, whatever. They've been alright so far. But. Oh, shush, doggo. This is this is my life. <laughs> yes. Yes, I know. I've been here for a whole eight minutes talking. I haven't paid him enough attention, you see, today. We haven't been out playing football or anything today. <laughs> oh, dear dogs. Um. So, yeah. Feel alright, not overly impressed with the old haircut, but looks alright, I suppose. Better than the mop that it was. I wanted it a bit more faded, but whatever. Um, yeah, I'm, I don't like it when it's long. Um, especially at the sides, it bugs me when it's long at the sides. Don't mind top being a bit long, but really annoys me when it's long at the sides. <laughs> Um, but yeah, just feeling a bit, uh, so, don't know, oh, he's gone and got his bloody football, I can hear him, anyway, <coughs> hopefully I'll feel a bit better tomorrow, I get weighed tomorrow at Slowing World, and I think I've lost three pounds, I hope I've lost three pounds, not entirely sure yet. Till I get away tomorrow. Because my scale's about half a pound out, I reckon. So, yeah. But I tried really hard. This la last week and this week, I've tried really hard. But it's really weird. Like, last week, like, um, when I was at my friend's, even though I had, like, um, not sweets, but just, yeah, I suppose stuff you sin, basically. Um, I wasn't eating all the time, and it was like the first couple of days of being ill, I wasn't particularly hungry anyway. But I found that I wasn't like sat there eating, and and when I'm sat down, whereas when I got back here, back home, I noticed that just sat down, I'm like, oh, I'm bored now. What have I got in the kitchen? Like, it's really weird. As soon as I came here, and you and you or your not constantly doing something or thinking about have I done, you know, are the boys' lunchboxes ready? How Are the uniforms ready? How, are the dogs being taken out? Like, it's really strange. Why don't you not... Because it's just me and the dogs, like... Dogs, you know, they're all right. And I, you know, all right, look after myself. But, I, you know, it's odd. So, yeah, I lost a lot 
well, not a lot, but probably lost what I put on last week because, A, I was busy all the time, and I had flipping time to piss, let alone do anything else. And B, I didn't, I was always preoccupied, so with doing something, or I was too knackered to sit and eat anything, so I was just asleep. So, yeah, it's strange. So I've tried and trying to get out of that habit here, and it's really hard because I'm just like, oh, I just want, I just want something to be, want something to eat. But I'm like, you're not even hungry, you're just eating for the sake of it. Or if you you're gonna eat something, eat not a whole fucking packet of biscuits. Did that today. They're fairly low since. It's not so bad, but still, I've gone over my sins I'm, I'm not going to eat anything tonight he says <laughs> we shall see I'll try and have a uh, what have I got to eat I'm going to try and eat just a muller light and, a, and an apple and hopefully that will cut it but I d I'm not hungry mainly because I'm frustrated when I get wound up I, just, I can't eat nothing so hopefully um, I, work, I have still most days, it's only been today and yesterday, I went over my sins. So hopefully it shows on the scales tomorrow because I really want to get to my target because I've had enough of having to go every week. Um, I just want to get to target now. I've, you know, it's been 20 odd weeks, 24 weeks, something like that. 23 weeks, I think it's 24 weeks this week, so it's a long time. So yeah. Well, it's not much of a long time, but it's, it's, what am I trying to say? It's quite a commitment, and, you know, it's, it's a good commitment. It's a life-changing thing, and, I, you know, I do want to keep the weight off, but having to always think about what you're putting in your body is hard work. I want to, you know, I want to, once I get to target, I want to be, you know, be a bit more uh, flexible, I suppose. So, because you only have to weigh, weigh every eight weeks, I think. So, which I do means I don't have to go every week. But yeah. Anyway, I'm going to just stop rambling on, and I better upload this to YouTube and uh, I don't know. Right, I suppose <laughs> that may help me uh, get out of this little funky groove I'm in today. And also, I need to start reading. Get out of the way, cat. This. Mr. Russell Brand's new um, book. Um, I really want to start reading that at some point. I just, I've had it for about a week, I think. Two weeks. And I just, ugh, just haven't even looked at it yet. But I need to get back into a routine of reading a little bit every day so I'm gonna vlog write and read a bit tonight hopefully if I get round to it <laughs> we'll see anyway peace